Today I am giving my mom's 20 year old wicker chairs a makeover. If you haven't already watched our last video of this room makeover, I will have that linked in the description box below so you can view that video in entirety and get the full context of what these chairs are and what I'm doing this makeover for. So when I was designing this space, I had the idea of whitewashed wicker chairs similar to this one right here. However, I just did not like the price tag on that. I wanted something a lot less expensive and I thought, well, I already have these wicker chairs. I can just give them a little makeover and give them a similar look. I didn't do it exactly the same, but I did want a really subtle whitewash. My mom also had these chairs gifted to her by her mother over 20 years ago. So I wanted to be able to keep them and again, just give them a little facelift. I decided to go over with some camouflage Rust-Oleum spray paint in the color sand and I gave them a quick spray all over. Some places needed two coats, but I found one can of spray paint really did just about the entire chair, front and back. So the amount of cans of spray paint you want will really depend on how much you are covering. But again, for this chair specifically, one can just about did the entire thing. To get the whitewash look, I used about a fourth of a cup of white paint we had left over from the room, and I filled the rest of this cup up with water and mixed it really well to give it a runny consistency. As you can see here, I'm just working in sections. I lightly paint on the mixture, and then immediately I'll wipe it down with a rag. I continued this process until I painted the entire chair and then I decided to go back on any places I felt like it needed a little bit extra. I just added a little bit more and then again wiped it down. One thing I wanna mention is that spray paint alone, at least this specific spray paint, I don't know if this would be the same for another brand, uh, but it made the texture of them kind of feel a little grimy. So I was going to, like if I didn't do the whitewash look, I was going to spray them down with a clear glaze spray paint. And I've used that stuff before so I know that the texture of it's really nice and it's really easily wiped down and it just feels good. So if you just use this spray paint, I would suggest going over with a clear glaze. I will have those linked in the description box below if you wanna get the exact brand that I prefer. But if you do the whitewash, technique over the top of the spray paint it will leave your furniture feeling really smooth and that grimy texture goes completely away
well, that's everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope this video gave you an idea of ways you can very affordably give your used furniture a makeover. Thanks again for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.